All right, so in this tutorial, I will show you how to import your vector files from Illustrator into After Effects and how to convert them into fully editable vector shape layers. So we're going to start with Illustrator. You got the vector right here. All you need to do is go to File, Save As, and make sure to save it in AI file format. Rename it however you like and click on Save. Click OK. And now we're going to go to After Effects. And all you need to do is just drag and drop the AI file right here. Click OK. And we're going to open this folder and we got the AI file here, a drag and drop into the composition. I'm going to toggle transparency so you can see the text right here. Right now it's bitmap. So all you need to do to convert this is go to the layer, right click. Let's go to create and select create shapes from vector layer. Delete the original AI file. And here we got the shape layer. I'm going to press the letter S to scale it up. It won't lose any resolution. I'm going to check the background and switch up the fill and it's fully editable. Okay, so let's say I want to export these separately. So I got this uh, main text, we got the subtext and this vector element here. And as you can see, we got one folder. And if you want to export in pieces in After Effects, so you can create a more complex animation with multiple shapes, you're going to need to separate these in different layers. So manually, you're going to need to, you know, create like a new layer and go in here and just drag and drop here you know, to separate it. But this is like time consuming. It takes a lot. So I'm going to show you the faster way. Just select the layer, go here to the three lines and let's select release to layers sequence. And as you can see, it separated these in three sub layers, but it's still it's in a layer, which is not good. So I'm going to select all three and drag it above the layer one and delete the layer one. And this way we have the three layers, AKA the three vector shapes separately. Now let's go to After Effects, drag and drop the file here, click OK. Again, you can go here to the folder and drag the files in, toggle transparency, zoom in. I'm gonna right click, create, create shapes from vector layer and drag and drop the shape layers above everything. And you can delete the AI files this way. And this was it, thanks for watching.